Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of rational number operations. This is standard 7.3a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 10 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a basic operation here of division, no word problem, 26 and 95 hundredths divided by negative five and a half. You notice we've got a positive and a negative. So whenever we multiply or divide a positive and a negative or negative and a positive, doesn't matter the order, that always turns into a negative. All of our answer choices, F, G, H, and J are negative. So we cannot eliminate any of those because they're positive. We only get positives when we multiply or divide both positives, or even if they're both negatives, that will turn into a positive. So how do we divide these? One is a decimal, one is a fraction. Let's turn both into decimals or both into fractions. Probably the easiest way to do it would be to turn both into decimals. So we've got our 26.95, that is our dividend. We're dividing into that. That is already a decimal, so we just need to change this negative five and a half. Now, how do we turn that into a decimal? Well, let's try to see if we can get our denominator here to change into a 10, 100, or 1,000. So I'm going to make an equivalent fraction. I'm going to multiply it by fives because that is going to be 5 and 5 tenths. The reason I want the denominator to become tenths is because I know that this first spot after the decimal is the tenths spot. So 5 and 5 over 10 is the same as 5.5. Now we've got to remember it's negative. So now we've got a decimal and a decimal and we are in business. We really don't like decimals in our divisor. So let's multiply both divisor and dividend by 10. So basically we're going to move the decimal spot over one time. That's going to be a little bit better for both. So it's going to be, let's keep our decimal right up there. 55 goes into 269. I'm thinking five is going to be a bit big. So I'm going to try four. Let's multiply this by four. And that's going to be 20. Yeah, 220. So we are just a little bit short. You see how my remainder is 49. I'm a little bit short of getting it in that fifth time. Let's bring down this five which means that's going to have to be pretty large. I'm going to guess that is going to be 9. And let's see what 5.5 .5 times 9 is going to be. Yeah, that's 45. That's 49. So that's what I'm looking for right there. So that gives me nothing left over. 4.9, remember we multiplied or we divided a negative and a positive. So my answer is going to be negative 4.9. So it looks like my answer there is G. How can we do that by turning both into fractions. Well, we've already got negative five and a half as a fraction. So let's look at 26.95. How do we turn this into a fraction? Well, this is really 26, 29. Let's make that 26, because that's exactly what that is, not a 29. 95 hundredths. So let's do 95 over 100. That's big. Let's see if we can simplify that. I know five goes into both. That's as close as we're going to get. So that really is going to equal 26 and 95 divided by 5 is 19. So look at that. I've got 26 and 19 twentieths. And I need to multiply uh, or divide that. I'll multiply in just a second by negative 5 and a half. Now I need to turn both of these into improper fractions. So I need to do 26 times 20. Right, so that is going to be 520. Then I need to add this. See how it gets a little bit crazy? So that's really 539 twentieths. So 26 and 19 twentieths is 539 twentieths. This is negative 11 halves. And then if I want to, I can just invert and multiply. So it would be 539 over 20 times negative 2 elevenths. Yeah, that looks a bit confusing. I'd go with the decimal. Either way, our answer here is going to be G.